Whew. Well, good morning once again, everybody. I know you can barely see me. It is another early morning. Heading out to Beaver Lake. Got the native watercraft loaded up today. Got another jackpot going on. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since my last video. Uh, we've tried a few times since then. Haven't really gotten any takers. But this time around, guys, we've got like 10 dudes including me. So actually going to be a nice little chunk of change for whoever wins this today. It's three fish limit. Seven to three. Uh, submission's got to be to me by 345 no later I'll pick the winner uh, we're gonna do it all through PayPal so I'll announce the winner and the PayPal handle and everybody will be able to pay up after the fact I know this is a little bit different for some of these guys they're used to paying before and then you know fishing being done with it but this is just kind of a way that I'm hoping to be able to drag you know a few more guys into this that way you know it's not about meeting up at one place and it's not about you know having everything ready to go by a certain time you know tournament hours are seven to three that way i mean if, if you get there a little late you get there a little late it's on you you know no big but got everything loaded up heading out to beaver it's a beaver lake only event i'm hoping to be able to get my three fish limit no problem today we'll see how it goes Come on, Ned Red. Let's get hot right here. Let's put a fish in the boat first hour. That'd be sweet. hot right here long and skinny that is perfectly fine oh. Ned rig new strike king Ned bait come on guys All right. Let's see if we can get out of the way here for a second.
got just enough room to get this done here. Guys, come on. You cannot beat that with a stick. First fish in 20 minutes. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Super stoked about that. Mainly because I zeroed last time. So that fish came off this little rock point right here. So throwing a Ned rig with one of these new Strike King. It's almost like a little mini brush tail or flapping hog style bait in an Okeechobee craw color. And I mean, he he inhaled that like as soon as it went in there. one down there. That's good. Yes, ma'am. That one was on a bed. Ooh, girl. What do you think, guys? Hmm? Yep. Oh, Y'all are gonna love that. Barely hooked as usual. There we go, guys. There's a quality one. That one hit it twice, same spot. So I knew it was there. She'll go 15 and a quarter all day. 
So I need three better than 15 at this point. Nice. Starting to begin to wonder there for a minute if we made the right move. Yeah, I don't think he's quite 15, but he's gonna be close. Once again, just popping right out. Stuck her in the net. Get your picture and you go back where you came from. I know you're still trying to swim. to stay. I don't think he's helping us any. Still a nice fish. Alright guys, so made it back to the house obviously. All in all, not a bad day out on Beaver Lake. I kind of like that area that we were fishing. 
it's one of those areas it's a it's a mixed bag you can catch large mouth you can catch spots you can catch small mouth i caught one of each today so always cool on that the main thing that was getting it done for us today obviously was a variation of the ned rig they're the new shroom finesse jigs made by z-man it's pretty much a ned rig with a little jig skirt on it you can throw any kind of trailer you want on that thing i was throwing those strike king they're like Man, I, don't, I can't even remember what the model's called, but it looks like a little mini brush hog. And it was in the Okeechobee crawl color. That's what got most of our bites today. We did get a couple on a, a different kind of finesse jig there toward the end. But all in all, guys, it was that Ned rig getting it done. And once again, I threw other stuff, I promise. I threw a weightless fluke, weightless worm. I threw crankbait. I threw chatterbait. I even trolled a deeper diving crankbait there for a while. So, I don't know what my deal is. I just can't seem to get anything other than finesse bites here lately, which, I mean, I'm, I'm a finesse fisherman, so I'm not complaining. I just, there's sometimes I wish I could just mix it up for you guys. All right, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but I ended up with 45 inches for my best three fish. I, I'm pretty sure 50 inches is going to win by a dude named Michael Burgess, I'm wanting to say is your last name. I am hope I'm not, you know, slaughtering that too much there, but as it, as it looks right now, it's, you're, you're going to be the winner guy, and I like I said, we're all fishing Beaver Lake. I'm not exactly sure what area you were fishing, but good on you for putting those fish in the boat. Uh, I hope everybody had a good time. I hope everybody's down to do this again. Uh, I'm doing it kind of Roadrunner style because of the COVID stuff. I wouldn't mind all of us meeting in one place and doing it like that, but you know that's, that's when you got to get permits and stuff like that involved. At least when it's all digital like this, we can kind of fly under the radar. We can fish where we want to fish, fish when we want to fish. Now, we may eventually start using the Tourney X app if we start getting enough participants, but if it's only going to be 10 to 20 guys, I'm pretty sure I can keep track and handle that. If not, I can always bring on a second. But guys, I just really appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. We're going to keep this running all the way through the summer. Hopefully more of these jackpots. I'm going out tomorrow to chase some crappie with my buddy Corey. So hopefully that'll be the next video you see. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay outdoors.